Welcome to Simply Excel. In this video, we're going to take a look at changing the case of text in Excel. So for example, making everything uppercase, everything lowercase, or applying proper case. There are three functions we're going to use to do this. They all just take one argument, which is the data that you want to convert to uppercase, lowercase, or proper case. So let's take a look at these functions. If, for example, we wanted our last name column to all be in uppercase, what we'd need to do is insert a new column And then in this new column, we can type equals upper, open our brackets, click on the cell that we want to convert to uppercase, close our brackets and press return. And that's just given us our surname in uppercase. Double click in the bottom right hand corner, we can auto fill it down the whole column. And just double click between the columns to display all our data. One thing to note, if you want to replace your original last name column with these new uppercase values, is that you'll need to paste just the values in. Because if we try and copy this and paste it straight in, you'll see that's now moved the function over one column and picked up the first name instead of the last name. What we need to do instead is right click in our destination column and from our paste options, choose the paste values. And you'll see that's pasted in our uppercase values. So using the lower and the proper case formulas is exactly the same process. So it's just equals lower, open our brackets, select the cell that we want to change, close our brackets, and that's put the surname entirely in lower case. And finally, if we want to proper case it, it's proper, open our brackets, select our cell, and autofill that down, and we're back to proper case. We can, of course, use these three functions on the fly. So we could join our text together for our last name and first name to build a string where we have an uppercase surname, a comma, and then the first name. So what we do here is say equals upper, select our last name, use our ampersand, and in double quotes, put a comma and a space another ampersand, and then our first name. And that's built our string of uppercase surname, followed by a comma, a space, and then a proper case first name. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips. Thanks for watching.